Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn and master how to use Bootstrap popover component. Very similar to tooltip, but has a different visual design and different interface so that you can uh, present information to the user and improve the UX UI of your application. We will learn all about it in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 23 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Alright, so if you haven't checked out the full tutorial playlist, I request you to do so. We have done few live projects also and this would give you an edge to learn and master Bootstrap end to end. Today we are in the 23rd episode. Today we are learning about bootstrap popovers. Alright, a quick uh, theory or rather I would say introduction notes on this popover component. Just like tooltip, popover uses popper.js. Okay, so a lot of times developers will make this mistake or even for that matter designers that we do not include popper.js and that's where all the issues start seeing that it's not working. So one of the most commonly, um, I would say, query that I get in email and in comments is the popover or the tooltips are not working. And that's because th you have not either correctly installed the popper.js or you have not included it at all. So make sure you do that. I have shown you in the previous episode. I'll show you now also. And then we will see how to use the component. Let's get started with hands-on lab. All right. So we are going to build uh, with an existing one that we have in this uh, IBM clone that we are trying to do and try to see and get some inspiration from them to build uh, the design based on that. So let's go over to the documentation of Bootstrap, go to Docs and let's pick up popovers. All right. So let me first show you how the popover looks like if you see here, it comes like this, a small window, which is kind of a visual feedback or guidance to user. And you can show some kind of a hint something like some something similar to tooltip right so before we use this right a lot of times what people do is they'll just copy this and they'll go ahead in the code they will paste it and they will expect it to work now the obvious question is will it work no it won't work because for the obvious reason that you need to include now let's see I copied it I refresh I don't see anything working right the reason I will not see it working is because, like I said, you need to include the popper.js in your library and initiate the component. OK, that there are two parts to it. So if you see in the previous episode, I have already included that link here. Here, if you see here, script popper.js, right? So this is a library that Bootstrap uses for tooltip and popover component. So you need this compulsory mandatory that's where it will work. So once you have included it here, just like how we have initialized the tooltip targets, right? Similarly, we need to initialize the popover targets as well. So scroll over at the top, you would see these few lines of code here, right? So this will initialize all the popovers in the page. So copy that and bring it to the script inside the script. You need to add it because this is a JavaScript code. Save it. Once you have saved it, now go back to your application and refresh. And now you should see it working like this. Now this is tooltip. See, this is tooltip. This is popover, right? So you can again customize this popover as per our requirement. So if you don't want it certain type, you can say you don't want it. Like if you don't want it button to be primary, right? Add new contact. Now let's see, this is tooltop. And this is the button that we just added for the popover, right? Click to toggle. Click to toggle. Okay. So this is the button that we just added. Okay. So what we are going to do instead of this, I'm going to make it primary. And I'm going to say that instead of the popover data, if you see here, this is the data that we are getting. So we can easily customize that. So we can now have it with the same color combination that we have in our application. We can make it primary, secondary or this thing. 
now you will see let's see some options to it right so you can place the placement of it so you can say pop over on top on right on left on bottom etc so all you have to do is you have to put this condition which is d data bs placement okay so copy this option go to the code and add it to our pop over and i'm going to say add it to the left or to the to the right side okay that's a good experience so you see it's on the right now. now let's make it left so now it is coming on the left right but usually don't do it on left it's not really a great uh, experience usually keep it either um, at the don't do it at the top or bottom um, prefer it on the right side that's where the reading comes in right so it's much easier to read it all right so that is about the placement of which direction now similarly you can disable it by adding just a disable button right um, you can also add some mixing and change color etc okay so this is something like now if you click outside it will go away see so that is called dismissible so you click on it you don't have to click the button again you can click anywhere and it will go away so that is yet another uh, thing that you can add to our um, uh, popover right so these are simple things which will increase the um, user experience nothing fancy about this but just a simple cool utility to provide user with some kind of an information on popover right so go ahead give it a try use start using it in your application uh, and in the next episode I will cover about bootstrap progress component thank you so much for joining I hope you're enjoying uh, if you do, please do, if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you so much.